So we have begun the install installer. Going to wait till that runs through. Now, as I promised, we're going to talk about ports. So there are multiple ports that Tableau uses. Port 80 is generally the gateway. You do have the option to change this, which we'll look at later. But generally, with most most servers, port 80 is the usual uh, port to connect to. Or some I've heard some corporations who use port 8080, but that's up to you. You do have the option to change this port, that port 80, sorry. Um, and it's used by the gateway. So that's basically where Tableau Server connects to, uh, anyone connects to the Tableau Server. Uh, you can also use port 443. Port 443 is the default port for SSL configuration uh, connections. Uh, it is important to know port 443, you cannot change that. Tableau does not allow you to change this port. Uh, it is always directed to this port. Now, something that I've seen uh, some clients do and is good to note here is that sometimes people say, well, port, I'm using SSL, so I'm connecting to port 443 so I can block port 80. That is not right. Because when you use Tableau Desktop, Tableau Desktop tries to connect to Tableau Server, it'll first ping port 80 to check, oh wait, is this Tableau Server there? What are the specifications? Because Tableau Server returns some, uh, some level of information about what is the server version, what are we running, things like that. So it returns that over port 80, and then it realizes that, oh, okay, you do have SSL enabled, and it's a valid certificate. Sure, let me connect to port 443, and then it shifts to port 443. So both port 80, or whichever you configure that to, and port 443, which cannot be changed, are necessary to use Tableau Server. So do not block both the ports. Uh, then you have Tableau Services Manager, known as TSM, which we will come to in a bit. Uh, and that is served on port 8850. Uh, so that is a port that uh, it's on the machine. You do not need access to this outside unless you plan to administer your server without going on the machine. In that case, you need access to this outside, but that's a bit more complicated step. We're not gonna talk about that right now. I'm assuming you're going to RDP to the machine and connect to port 8850 and access TSM. And you have the Postgres database that is all of Tableau's data, all the user, um, uh, the user list, the content mapping, all of that is stored in a Postgres database within uh, your Tableau server installation on your machine. And this can be accessed on port 8060. So for natural reasons, you do not want to open this port to everyone uh, to connect to. Yeah, it does have username, password, everything, but still it is good not to just open it to everyone. Uh, but it is useful to have, to have connection to that within your corporate network, um, because sometimes you do want to connect uh, to this port and be able to query things like, when are my users logging in? When are my users not uh, doing things, things like that. So you can create custom views once you connect to this port. Uh, port 8061 is a backup verification port. Uh, then port 8000 to 9000. Uh, Tableau preserves these ports for some dynamic processes and 2700 to 2709 as well are, are reserved for this. Um, you do not need to make this accessible to the internet, but within your corporate network is useful. If you have multiple nodes, it's useful to have it available. Uh, 8,000 to 9,000 is specifically for a high availability installation, but uh, yeah, you don't need to have that always. But at the bare minimum, if you want to connect your Tableau server, you need port 80 and port 443. Uh, port 80 can be changed, of course, as you might need it, but port 443 cannot be changed. So you need uh, those two ports, basically. The port that you set for your gateway and port 443 configured for external access. Um, 